This is KRQE News 13 with Dick Niffing and Diane Anderson. A postseason atmosphere tonight as the Lobos got their first sellout of the season with the dreaded Texas Tech Red Raiders in town. It's been a decade since a Lobo men's team in the top 25 battled it out with another ranked team in the pit. The crowd was treated to a huge win. News 13's Alex Tomlin was there too. Lobo's men basketball players are kings here in the pit. This is awesome. It's unbelievable. With almost 15,000 fans cheering them on against the Texas Tech Red Raiders. The Guns Up group is ranked one spot below the Lobos at 20. That's after the Lobos dropped seven spots following last week's road loss to Oral Roberts. For fans like Jim Fleming, that loss is nothing. It was one of those things that happens. You know, sometimes it's good to lose that one and get get out of the system. Fleming's been a fan for decades, and he's not the only one. It's been a part of my life since I was a little boy. I think a lot of people in the community. Loyal fans like Matt Dixon say they've always supported the boys in cherry and silver, and one loss isn't stopping them now. I came to saw them there really, really bad in the McKay days, so when they're good like that, it's much more fun to come. They're going to win tonight. Fans may be focused on the 40 minutes on the court. But they all know the boys have a bumpy road ahead. They're going to tough schedule with BYU, Utah, UNLV. It's going to be tough, but I think they're going to be okay, especially if we can play at home in the pit. And the Lobos won big tonight, 90-75. to 75. We'll have all the highlights from tonight's game coming up in sports in about 10 minutes.